the Java that you have for the same time to depend. Then the Manega was the vice chairperson in to my, to my right team, his comrade Paul Borikoy, uh, who was the chairperson. So um, we, are, we saw on social media that uh, um, Fugain wanted to have a press conference in which he addressed himself as the spokesperson uh, in line with what we are supposed to be having. Um, Fugain will not be in the position to speak as the spokesperson of the party because that person will never get it in a audit. So we, we are allowing him to speak so that we understand where this thing is going from the leadership side. Unfortunately, he was arrogant and he, he drove away. He, that is in the past. And we also want to clarify certain issues as we go so that we understand what is on the ground, contrary to a lot of things that are happening, that are being said out there. So at this juncture, I will, I will give uh, uh, my, my chairperson to address you when we move forward. Uh, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, don't, I only have uh, one point that I want to clarify. The issue of uh, court application that was done by MDCT part uh, uh, asking for but uh, it was uh, not safe. Uh, even myself, I haven't seen it, but uh, I only was uh, I saw it in the WhatsApp and I saw I, I uh, sometimes you can be punished whilst you don't you are so I have to make all the frantic efforts to appeal that uh, order. But that's not our main mission. Uh, we, we we were not expecting all that the court procedure. There is no reason for going to court. These are internal issues, issues that we are supposed to solve uh, in this building as a family. Uh, it's unfortunate that our leaders, some leaders, I, I don't think they are all of them, some of the leaders have decided to take the matter into their own hands. We are expecting to put a National Executive, the Edwisha seat. Yes. And the National Council, do you know your mama decisions? I refer to you, Anna Sungisa. Sungisa, my youth, you the same day arrive. I don't think it's proper. Even to other leaders, I'm appealing to them to find a better way of solving this issue. I will not want to stand in the courts with my leaders and uh, to stand for the fairness. I cannot go to court for fairness. MPC is a justice party, is a part of, principle, of principles. So we can't abandon our principles of justice, equality, and fairness. And I cannot be seen uh, asking for those things uh, through the It's something that we expect to be exercised uh, in MPC, it's our culture. So we don't expect the, uh, uh, the action. We were not expecting the action that was taken by our leader. But uh, we are not afraid, because we are standing for a good cause. With my executive, we are very clear that we will keep on with this struggle. And uh, our aim is to make sure that we don't go to primary these by-elections uh, that emanate from the uh, recourse. We don't go. We don't contest those by-elections uh, by with double candidates. We are expecting them uh, to sit down and find a common solution. If we are to contest in those elections, we must contest as MDCT, as we are agreed that we, when we contest all the elections, we contest as MDCT, but our party is MDC Alliance. And uh, they must solve, they must find a way of solving whatever they created. As youth assembly, we suffered enough. We want to proceed with this journey of, of the people of Zimbabwe. We must make sure that we make this country governable. I think. I think he has, made, he has made it very clear. Um, for avoidance of, um, I 
then you have to be a pretty case. Could you have your phones on silent? Because some of us need to know. Uh, for avoidance, of, I was saying for avoidance of, of, of doubt, um, there are certain things that are doing rounds in the media, um, certain narratives that are being said. Uh, contrary to those uh, narratives, as you can see, this is a cocktail of uh, all the people that are concerned in this matter. So if the young people come together to try and uh, have solutions with regards to the matter today, I think it's something that our leadership should lead. Um, these are actually demands. We are not asking them. We are demanding that unit is proper so that we have um, a great concern, which is very clear. Time is not on our side. And the young people, we have taken um, a strong stance. Yeah. And we are not going back. We are not repeating them. For anything that will come our way is uh, as young people. So in this juncture, I will give to uh, Vice Chairman Stan so that he can conclude. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Ombre. I just want to, to, to add to, um, to Zimbabweans what, what we have decided as the youth. We are only demanding just a few things from our leadership, like what the Supreme asked them to do. We just want them to sit an executive with the right people, as the court said. We are just asking them to sit the National Council with the right people, as the court said. We are just asking them to allow to time to find each other so that they come with a way forward where every Zimbabwean is expecting good things from MDC. That's what we are demanding. Imbwa, Aishi Nuri, Let's now focus on what the lawyer said so that we can move forward. That is only our demand. The threat is not the, the threat that is there is not for our leadership. But we realize that the threat that is there is our generation, the youth. Probably to the to, to, to the leadership, everything is now good for them. Their life is now what they wanted in life. But for us as the youth, we feel that we are threatened by the way they are doing things. We've got a court judgment that we need to follow, and that's what we are asking for them. Or even to talk to each other. They find each other, then we come up with a good way forward for the people of Zimbabwe. That is our appeal. Thank you, Commander Steny. Um, at this junction, we have sound now that we have uh, Questions from, from the journalists before we close our session. I'll start from this side. <coughs> yes, uh, my name is, is Blessed Mutlano uh, from Art and Soul TV and Radio. I just have uh, two questions. Number one, um, wh why did you choose to settle uh, this cause that, uh, or to settle the issues that you're saying have been left hanging? Or did you fail to use the party structures for by your party constitution? without having to go this way. And uh, my other question was, I, I, want, I want clarity because um, acting spokesperson Pugin said uh, he wanted to address a press conference. And I, I heard you allowing him to come in to address that press conference. Um, I, I want to understand where the problem is to go to court when the use of the building, as we have seen, that we are allowing them the use of the building. You allowed them to get in, but they refused to get in. So I want to understand what is the problem, really. Okay. Uh, I'm equally surprised. Because was the in to us, youth assembly, it means uh, some of the leaders who are benefiting uh, with the uh, leadership of this country, they are enjoying, I think they are okay with 
situation in the country. There are some elements of infiltration in MDC, and I have said that in my statement uh, uh, on the day before yesterday, that uh, we have noted an element of infiltration from both sides, both factions of Zambia. We don't mention people, but we know, <coughs> and you, you journalists will know, that infiltration, I mean, infiltration was there. And the SDS assembly, there are times when we need to, to stand up and say, no, this is, a, this is not according to our principles. We don't allow this. And we redirect them to the correct direction. I think that's the, on the first one. Then uh, your, your, your second question, I think in my deputy can respond. Yeah, I, I think the second why have they resulted in not using the party structures? Like what I have said, that the party structures, we are now here, and we are saying, let's do the right thing. If it's a standing committee, you know who was it there in 2014. You know the acting president, Dr. Tukuzani Kupe, the, the, the organizer, Pepe, we know the chairperson committee, we know the secretary general, Douglas Monzora, we know Obed Kutu, we know all those people. We are simply saying that it's high time we use the court as a movement to forward. Because the court of the law has said so. Let's forget our differences. So when you find people now refusing to use the structures, then it goes back to what the chairman has said. We've got infiltration. Because there should be no problem. Everyone knows who was 14. And we are simply saying everyone is free to come at the office as long as you are in the structures in 2014. That's why you see that whoever has got a problem here is not here. If there is a disciplinary issue, they are not here. But if you were there in the structures, as the, as the, the court said, that's what we are asking. So it then goes back to ask uh, to answer your question that we've got a crisis if the leadership does not find each other in terms of what the court is saying. And us as young people, we just joined our heads to say, let's follow what the law has said. Yes. Um, I just wanted to know what the court is about the matter of position of Okay. If I can have that in Ngatuwe <laughs> Akanga Adi Pakafasai, Atina Probu, 